New Zealand, it's traditional to wear conservative black clothing for a funeral. So you wouldn't expect to see something like this. Well, a few hundred years ago in the Society Islands, this was the outfit for mourners, but not for just any old funeral. This costume was probably worn by one particular person to signify how important that person was. A group of mourners would also be gathered around. They would be naked except for a muddle, which is a loincloth, something tied around their waist and between their legs. And they'd be covered in soot, black paint and red paint to signify the grief that they felt for this particular, this important person. The ceremony would involve people yelling and screaming. They would carry shells that they'd bang together to signify or to let people know that they were coming. So if you didn't get out of their way, you'd get hit with the weapons that they carried as well. So you'd make sure that you hid so you didn't get hurt. So it really was for only important people within the society? As we understand it, yes. The reason for that is these pearl shells come from a depth in the ocean. Um, in order to acquire them, somebody had to give a pig for the pearl shells. So the pearl shells themselves were rare. The pigs are an important food source in the Pacific and not everybody had some, so you exchanged a pig for a, for a pearl shell. I think there's over 2,000 pieces of pearl shell here, so in order to make them, somebody had to be there cutting, sanding, polishing, and then the pieces tied together with very finely twisted sennit, which is coconut fibre. So it's a lot of work. So it's a pretty significant item for Te Papa to have in the collection today. Oh, extremely important, yes, indeed. Very few of them are around, and it's just the work and the workmanship that was involved, and the ceremony that is no longer followed.